morning. Here we go. I'm going for five minutes or under. <laughs> right, I've not been on it a lot this weekend. I've been busy working, but it's early. I've just got up and I thought, oh, I'll do a quick video. And I happened to go on and just see Amy's post that she's just posted. Um, it's ace. I love it. Going to British military fitness and and just being proud of herself. And coincidentally, that is what I was going to talk about today. So, or is it a coincidence? I don't think it is. But um, yeah, there's all this business about self love and everything. It's really tricky, I think, um, because when you're drinking, you just hate yourself a lot. You literally constantly despise yourself. And you spend so much time negative self-speak, not just negative, but bloody awful, vile self-speak, you know, especially the morning after and, oh God, what have I done and do it all again. And when you start having another drink, you just can't help yourself. So you, you've had, I don't know how long, years ingrained, you know, that's been ingrained and um, it's just hard to switch it. And it's hard to go from that to self-love you know, to say that actually not just you're all right, but you actually do love yourself. And if that's one step too far, um, then try starting with what you're proud of because it's not quite as, doesn't feel quite as squirmish, you know, something that you're proud of that you've done recently, you know, since being alcohol free, you know, what is it? Something that you're proud of. And it is a, quite different to something that you love about yourself. Um, I might do a little bit of love about yourself soon because it is really difficult, you know, to stand there and say to somebody, I love myself because. So start with what are you proud of? Now, one thing I thought that I was really proud of, and it's only a little thing, I signed up to the Grenade 8, is it, with Jamie on here about eight, nine weeks ago um, to do the challenge the fitness challenge body transformation hey and i'm gonna change i've got you know i've got stronger now i had no intention of following the food plan because it's just not the way i eat i wanted to do it to get back into weight um and i did and you know what i did all eight weeks i finished it last week and i didn't miss a workout even when i went to italy for five days i had to do more at the beginning it was five times a week i had to do more at the beginning and more at the following week and a couple of days i had to double up but I've decided I'm not going to miss it and I didn't and I never missed a workout. So I'm really proud of that, you know, and it's when you achieve little things like that, that just give you another, another, what is it? Chink in your armour. <laughs> I don't like cliches, but another chink in your armour. And it, it really does. So, you know, what, are you, what have you done that you're proud of? Even if it's just something small. I mean, I'm also proud that I'm achieving the 20,000 steps a day. When I went to London on that bloody mega bus, <laughs> honestly, the bus was an hour late, so I spent an hour walking up and down because I love achieving stuff that I set out to achieve. You know, the downside of that is when you don't achieve it, all frigging hell can break loose. So just be mindful of that. But uh, yes, that's what I was, I'm, I'm proud of. So just ask yourself what you're proud of, because Amy's proud of herself, and so she bloody well should be, um, you know, going from drinking as she felt on that beach to getting into the green, being forced to go into the green and just working hard. And I'm proud of you, Amy, I really am. And there's so many people I see on this page that, yep, yeah, I'd be proud of that, I'm proud of that. There's so much you've got to be proud of. So really think today, what are you proud of? And just allow yourself to feel love for yourself, that you're proud. I know that sounds a nonsense, but we don't do it. So just, you know, are you proud that you've got past day one? Are you proud that you've just done 150 days? Four minutes 13, I'm on target. So I'm off to work. I've not been on some, I'm working all weekend. So uh, sorry if I'm a bit tired looking. I thought I'd put my lipstick on just to make it not look tired. <laughs> right, and do you know what? I opened this and I love this little one. Re-record your answering machine. It's a small gesture, but a strange, refreshing one. Delete the tired, old, outdated message on your voicemail or answering machine. Replace it with a new, upbeat version. Present a positive image and enjoy that satisfaction. So go on, do that. I challenge you to do that today. Well, there's two things. What are you proud of? And have you changed the message on your answering machine? Hello, this is Sally. 
Yeah, I probably did it when I was hangover. I said, hi, this is Sally. I'm alcohol free. <laughs> Don't have to do that obviously oh i'm sally i'm proud that i did grenade eight <laughs> people will think you've gone mad two birds with one stone but uh no re record your answer machine go on that's a bit of fun let me know if you've done it i like it and it just said they have a little thing at the bottom finish every day and be done with it you have done what you could oh my god that's just giving me a heart murmur I've not read that before. Finish every day and be done with it. You have done what you could. God, tomorrow's a new day. What a, what a book. You know, how much was it? It was eight quid. It's like antidepressants, that book. Anyway, 5.47. I know I said the five, but that's a result for me. So none of this business, Graham says, of 16 minutes. Who'd do that? <laughs> or Amy. Right, I'm off. Have a great day. Christine, I'm coming to get you. All right then, bye.